guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, my name is Roshani and today we're going to be discussing the importance of solitude, how to be a loner, living a private life, moving in silence. So let's get into it. You guys are always hearing me say that solitude is really important, that you're always supposed to be enjoying your alone time. Yes, I'm talking with this pen because it makes me feel more professional, okay? But how do you do solitude the right way? How do you do solitude in a way that's enjoyable, where you don't feel like a complete loser? Um, <laughs> to me when I say this and it's that you can run and hide from anybody in your life you can run and hide from anything in your life you will never be able to run from yourself you will be with yourself forever that should liberate you more than it should scare you that's why it's so important to be able to enjoy your alone time and actually learn how to maximize your potential maximize your productivity your mindfulness your relaxation whatever it is you want to do during those times and learn how to do that effectively and that's what I'm here to teach you guys so first, let's dissect what this actually means to you. Um, first of all, it has little to do with whether or not you're an introvert or an extrovert. I spend a lot of time in solitude for the purpose of replenishment, healing, understanding my emotions, and just recharging, right? Uh, my mind, my body, my soul, bringing everything back into alignment. So set an intention. What do you want to get out of your solitude? Sometimes it could be simply for the purpose of feeling your emotions and understanding your emotions, taking off the social mask and detaching from the outside world. For me, a huge part of wanting to spend more time in solitude or just having that desire to begin with stemmed from my soul becoming so tired of playing a role or putting like always being in character mode when I was out in public. Um, it felt like I really needed to rethink who I was showing up as because I was not proud of her. I was not proud of myself during that time and I didn't feel in alignment with it, right? Which is always really important. So let's discuss, let's break down some of the do's and don'ts when you're going through this phase in your life. It's going to happen to the best of us, but if you're somebody who wants to make sure that you come out a new person, a replenished person, these tips are for you. Do keep things more private. A private life is a luxury, right? Like you don't need to tell every single person, every random person what you're doing with your time. It honestly so useless and it doesn't do anything don't advertise your life so much because it just doesn't make things as interesting for you right life feels really fun when not everybody knows what's going on in your life almost as if you're in a movie you're a character that nobody else can figure out it becomes very enjoyable so yeah don't feel the need to justify or explain yourself keep it very discreet if you feel called to go ghost just do it to a healthy extent but you don't need to be sharing all of this information with random people especially people who you know don't actually want what's best for you uh so try to keep it on the lows do be patient with yourself during this process right it might take a lot of getting used to you might potentially be someone who actually really likes to be extroverted and outside all the time so it might take some getting used to for you to finally adapt to spending a little bit more time alone and spending a little bit more time in silence as well but always remember your objective when you're having a hard time with this it's going to be a lot easier for you when you keep returning back to your why why is this going to benefit you? What are you going to get out of it? Like I said from the beginning, you need to figure out an intention. Lead with that intention and you're going to get very far, believe me. At first, it feels like loneliness and eventually it feels like peace. Do have fun. Let go. Release. Feel. Be here. Do what you want. Nobody's watching. Time and solitude brings an abundance of opportunities when it comes to learning about yourself, spiritual growth, healing, whatever it is that you want to make time for. So embrace it. Redefine yourself. Build a new self-concept. Adapt a new mentality. Whatever's going to carry you through to the end of this journey, just do it, follow through with it. And I think as you start to spend more time alone, you get more comfortable with it, you become a little bit more confident as well. It's kind of weird. I was writing the video ideas down for this video that I'm filming. I actually already filmed the video for you guys, did not like anything about it, decided, you know what, I'm not gonna do this. I'm just going to refilm a whole other video, new topic everything and i was sitting down i was planning my videos i usually plan for like an hour and a half and i was like maybe i should do like a do's and don'ts and you guys i'm i'm new to this whole youtube thing right like i'm i'm figuring it out as i go along and i was not confident i was like that's stupid i was telling myself like that's not a good idea then i was like roshani why do you not trust yourself? Why do you not believe that your input is worthy? That whatever you are thinking of might actually be useful. So I'm actually really happy with the way it turned out. So that's what I mean. Like you start to trust yourself more. You know what's best. Not always, but you know, as you start to do it more and more, you're going to start to understand things that you maybe didn't have much clarity with before. Let's talk about the don'ts. I only have one written down for this because I feel like this is probably the biggest one. There's a very, like it can switch to this very quickly. So I'm just going to address it right now. Don't shut everybody out even if solitude is very beneficial there's a dark side to everything right don't get 
caught in this mentality of like, I have to level up and nobody else matters. There's also a flip side to self-development if you're not careful, if you're not mindful of the choices that you're making. The purpose of all of this is to live a better life. It's not be better than everybody else because you never will be. You will never be the most beautiful. You will never be the most intelligent. You will never be the most successful, wealthy, whatever it is that you're chasing after in your life right now. But you're always going to be you. And that, even if you don't believe that, that is what makes you unique because there is nobody else exactly like you. So you have to focus on how to maximize your potential, not just in one area of your life, in all areas of your life. That's oftentimes what happens. You think you go to the gym, you think that's enough, but why should that be enough? What about your mind? What about your soul, right? There's different ways to feed all different parts of you and you need to figure out what that is for you. I think the thing that gets people down is the amount of time it takes to actually make real changes. But if you're serious about it, and if you're tired of the life that you've always been living, then you will be serious about the choices that you're making. My mom is <laughs> my mom is cutting chicken right now, so if you hear someone banging against a cutting board, that is my mom. She is making chicken for me because I'm very hungry. Yeah, if people are reaching out to you, it's okay to let them know the journey that you're on, the fact that you want to spend a little bit more time in solitude. Don't feel incited to just ignore everybody. As much as I love the idea of going ghost, I think that it needs to be done in a healthy way because believe me, there's going to be consequences, so be very careful with it, but also listen to yourself. Like I said, you're going to know what's you're going to know what needs to be done in your alone time in order to completely go to the next level. Let's cover some expectations of what to expect during this time in your life. First and foremost, don't expect it to be lessons at least not in the beginning you see a lot of ugly a lot of beauty a lot of emotions most likely a lot of thoughts going through your head again remember your objective breathe relax eventually you become unrecognizable to yourself to other people you'll be replenished and brand new right you'll be feeling like literally the best version of yourself which is exactly what the purpose of all of this is i'm not thinking about anybody else do not think about everybody else tune it out don't try to compare your, your journey to everybody else's. Comparison really is the thief of joy. So just because you feel like someone is way ahead of you or they're younger in age and they're doing so much more than you, don't feel threatened by that. Your time will come and your blessings always have your name written on it. It's not going to anybody else. So learn to celebrate other people. Learn to be appreciative of your own journey, of your own process, because it's very unique to you, right? Expect that people will turn away from you. I don't know how else to say this, but when you're in a state of constant evolution, of constant elevation, you're trying to do better for yourself, people are going to drop like flies, my love. There's people that will not agree with the new version of you. Oh, who does she think she is? Ignore, block, delete. Whatever you need to do to keep your head high and keep moving in the direction that you need to go in order to achieve your goals until you get to where you need to be. It's the people that don't want to work on themselves that always have the most to say. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it apart from to ignore it. So that's what I would suggest. That's what I do. That is your gift to yourself, right? This entire journey, this entire process, this is all a gift to you. I've been in love. I've had very pleasant friendships. I've met very beautiful people. But at the end of the day, there was nothing greater than pouring into myself the way that I did and becoming a better me as a result. It's honestly the greatest gift that you could give to yourself is when you pour into yourself, you work on yourself, you understand your emotions. You don't feel like you can really relate to other people anymore, which is a very natural part of the process as well. So you need to start focusing on how you're going to get there. It's going to be very lonely and I never said it wasn't, but eventually it's like, it's better to be alone than to be around the wrong people, right? You need to get your head in the game and figure out what you want and what you're willing to sacrifice for it. That's it. And always remember why you're doing what you're doing. Always come back to it because it's, it's like there's going to be so many things to try and pull you in and you have to stay focused. You have to keep going because in the end, even if you're the only one clapping for yourself in the end, trust me, there's going to be other people doing it too and you're not going to be able to hear all the people that doubted you. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys want to see more of and I will see you guys in the next one.